there has to be a point where you say, okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna screw my job. I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna start, and I'm gonna make a living out of music. What was that moment in your in your life? I think that was uh, it was actually a little way into our career as a band. We'd done our first record, and I think it was just when our second record was coming out, and I could see that we had the possibility to play Coachella and a bunch of big festivals, and then all this potential like touring around the world. But um, but yeah, I think at that point for me personally was that was sort of when I had to either like take leave or quit my job um, or just sort of continue music as a hobby and I think it was like you know everyone's dream as a kid if you're into music is to be in a band and travel around the world so it was an easy decision. Are you the same people as when you started? Is there anything like one thing you haven't changed? Yeah I think that's kind of what we pride ourselves on I think if we weren't the same people that we were back then I don't think we'd be a band I mean 10 years traveling around the world together living out of suitcases in the same hotel rooms on buses. You have to eliminate kind of any ego or anything from that. And we all are kind of driven by the same goal of like making records and like touring and playing, hopefully playing great shows, so. The new album, Free Your Mind. How could you describe the, the process of, of getting Free Your Mind finally out? We kind of started writing the record as soon as we finished touring Zonoscope. I think we went to the Grammys in America We got off to a quick start and probably worked faster than, than we ever had before. We were probably more prolific on, on this record. There's a lot of material that didn't, didn't make the album. And What do you prefer, playing a festival or a small gig? They're both cool. Like It's just it's a different dynamic, obviously. When you're playing in a smaller venue, it's like it's contained, like probably more sweaty and crazy. Whereas festivals, sometimes you kind of get the opportunity to play to a wider audience. You know, people are walking past and they go, oh, what's this band? So you can kind of convert people. What do you remember about those two shows, on the only two shows they've done in, in Santiago? You know, we come over, it was just amazing to see that there are actually a lot of people here, you know, knew our records and, you know, had wanted to see us live. And every time we've come back since, it just feels like it gets a little bit bigger every time. And I mean, we love this city. I mean, it's... It's such a beautiful city to kind of walk around and everybody here is like so friendly and nice. Hello, I'm Tim. I'm Dan. I'm Ben. I'm Mitchell. Together we are Cut Copy. And wanted to say hi to all our fans here in Chile.